your help with the senseless murder of dad of three, Leroy Mitchell. He just, he loved people and he just wanted the best for everyone. Father of three, Leroy Mitchell, lived in Croydon with his family. He was a hard-working dad and he recently just got a job of Royal Mail. Everything was for family, especially his three kids was first. For Leroy's niece, Chardonnay, her uncle was a central figure for the whole family. We was very close. He was always there for us. He took my sister to her first interview at college to make sure she was there all right. And he was so supportive towards me when I was in school. And he just wanted everyone to be happy. One Friday night in October last year, Leroy was out with a friend in Croydon. They visited some bars in the town and met a few people along the way. They'd made friends with a woman who decided to join them when they carried on the night at a silent disco. The party was in a small ground floor flat on Birdhurst Road in Croydon. And it was busy when they got there, with more than 50 people listening to music on headphones and dancing together. At around 5 a.m., Leroy went out to the car park. While he was outside, his life came to a tragic and abrupt end. Well, it was early Saturday morning when my sister come running in with the phone in her hand. She was like, get up, get up, his dad. Something about Leroy, he's dead. We was in disbelief. We wasn't quite understanding what's happening. It's quarter seven in the morning. My mum took the phone and she, she tried to talk to my dad and he was crying and couldn't get his words out. And once he told us, he said, um, he was, at, he was at a party and he's dead. Leroy had died at the scene after a single gunshot wound to his head. He didn't deserve this. He only went out to have a, like, a nice time. He had a good job to start on the Monday. He had three kids he had to take a school. And it's just gone. Leroy's family don't know why his life was taken. It's so hard. It's hard, we're upset, we're angry, we're confused. Just want to know why. Why did it happen to him? Now, what has he done? I don't, we don't understand. He went out for a party and then he never come back. The family are desperate for anyone who knows what happened that night to come forward so they can move on with their lives. But just think if you were sitting here or it was like my nan that's going out of her mind, wondering why her son's not here. Imagine if it was you. It's destroyed so many lives and it's going to take a lot for people to get back on track because... He was just everyone's right-hand man. I'm joined by DCI Catherine Goodwin from The Met now. Thank you for joining us, Catherine. We saw just how heartbroken the family are in the film. How are they coping now? Um, thank you. I mean, as you can imagine, Leroy's uh, family, friends are absolutely devastated at his tragic murder um, and desperate for answers as to what happened. Understandably. So let's start by recapping the key events that happened that night. 
Um, so, uh, on that night, um, we know that Leroy had been out with some friends in Croydon Town Centre to a number of bars um, and clubs. And at some point that evening, um, he went on to the house party, which was being held in a flat in Birdhurst Road. We can just see that on the map there. And what do you know about that party? Um, so the party was a silent disco uh, type party with headphones. Um, they were quite popular during the pandemic um, as a way for people to meet up and then continued, obviously, after restrictions had been lifted. Um, we know that Leroy and a friend went on to the party. It was being held um, in the ground floor flat um, in a small flat and sort of into the garden area. Um, out the back. And quite a number of people were believed to be there. Yeah, um, between sort of 50 and 150 at various points throughout the night. Okay, so quite a lot of people were there. Um, so far, have any of those people come forward with information? So we have spoken to a number of people who are at the party, but we know that the vast majority um, haven't yet spoken to us and they may just have vital information, which is what we're appealing for today. And any information could be key. So let's just remind people of what Leroy was wearing on the night, just in case it jogs anyone's memory. You've got some CCTV. Talk us through this, Catherine. Yeah, so we've got some CCTV of Leroy just a few hours before he went to the party. This is him um, at a, a nightclub in Croydon Town Centre, um, wearing a dark hoodie with quite a distinctive logo, um, dark trousers and um, trainers. And these were in the bars in central Croydon before mm -hmm. he then moved on to the party. Now, you've mentioned there that there were a lot of people at this party, possibly 50, possibly significantly more. Many of those may well know what happened to Leroy at the party that led to his death. If they haven't come forward as yet and they needed that extra incentive, there is one that's been put up, a financial one. Yes, so um, we're grateful that Crime Stoppers have put up a reward of up to £20,000 for information which leads to the conviction of the per persons or people responsible um, for Leroy's tragic murder. Um, and we know that, that he was a very popular man in the Croydon area and lots of people um, are, are desperate for answers as to this. They certainly are. And let's hope that people do come forward with the answers the family so desperately need. Uh, Catherine, thank you. But hopefully we will have some calls coming in today that can help this investigation because this is a community and a family who are distraught.